So when I got the news, I was walking into my house. I almost didn't pick up the phone because I had no idea what phone number it was. And when I picked up, she told me that I was a recipient for the scholarship. I lost it. <laughs> when they said that I won the scholarship, I was like, oh my God, because it was my first scholarship. It felt great and I felt like I really mattered in this world. I was thinking that, wow, this is going to help me in the future. I'm such a community-based person. Like, I have no problem getting down and getting dirty and helping with my community, whether it's my school or my local hospital. I think my work ethic makes me stand out. Up to eighth grade, I was in behavioral schools, so I wasn't getting my full education that I knew I could. And when I went to high school, it was a brand new experience for me. I'm proud of myself. I'm in the running to become valedictorian in my high school. I won two scholarships. I won the Monumental Sports Scholarship and I won the Safeway Scholarship. I won the Thursday Network I Empower Scholarship. This scholarship allowed me to take the first steps into being able to go to college. This scholarship will help me be more open-minded about more things than what I already am. I'm gonna use this money to not even just help me, but it's also for my family. My parents doesn't have anyone. We are five children in my family. The scholarship gonna really help me with the, with the economy. I feel so proud about myself. You know, I'm the first one to go to college. I think that's gonna be an example for my sisters that we can, we can do it. And this country is so hard to be something for people like. I want to be the different than this country. I plan to pursue a degree in cardiology. So I say psychology, basically guiding young children to like the right direction. I want to get into the military. I want to be an officer. I'm trying to achieve a better life for myself. So I want to become um, an accountant, lawyer, and accounting firm. I love chemistry and I love computers. Since the STEM field is a mainly male field, I plan on going into the field and taking it over and hopefully more women decide to jump on that bandwagon. I want to help give birth to the next generation of kids. When you're a kid, you look at the world like, I have all this opportunity, I can do anything. That untapped potential, that's why I want to go into something in the medical or law degree field where I work with children. I was born in Los Angeles, California, but I moved um, to El Salvador with my mother to see the poverty that people go through. They're not able to sometimes overcome these challenges, and I just want to be somebody that can at least try to make things better. I want to help people so to find cure for diseases. Because one of my uncles died for cancer. I don't want any more people to die for all of them. Nothing. When I was in my country, the children not had the opportunity to go to the doctor. I want to change this. In the future, I see myself opening a foundation, helping young women and men like have great education, especially in the game, being like, I just want everybody to have the same opportunity that I did, or even more. I really feel honored and thank you for um, giving me this opportunity to um, continue my education. Thank you so much for this opportunity and this scholarship. I'd like to thank my mom and the people at Greater Washington Urban League. It's going to help me in my education and I promise that I won't waste it. Yes, I'm very thankful for, um, to the Greater Washington Urban League, you know, for allowing me to express myself, you know, and giving me the opportunity for me to actually have the dream of making the world at least a better place.